Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, June the 15th, 2021. Today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 53, 1 Samuel 15, 10 through 23, Revelation 21, 22 through 22, verse 5. Um, or you could have read Psalm 52, Jeremiah 21, 11 through 14, and then end up with the same text from Revelation again. Um, and those are the complementary texts that complement the previous Sunday's text. So if you went to church Sunday and your pastor was preaching from the lectionary, this set of texts, complementary ones, complement that. I'm going to look at Revelation 21 today and, um, and talk about Disney. Yay, Disney. Um, who doesn't love Disney? And Disney people, I'm not, I like Disney. I don't consider myself like a Disney person. Like, um, like they, they're, those people call themselves Dis nerds, which is kind of cool. But like, um, but Disney's fun and they did, and they're fun for a reason and they do a really good job. They do a good job at what they do. And Disney people love visiting Disney. And the only thing that they like more, I've noticed, um, than a day at Disney is a night at Disney. Um, so, and that's because Disney goes out of its way to make that so. Um, they are constantly working to make everything perfect. Um, or at least make everything a perfect illusion. Uh, kind of an illusion uh, facade of perfection or perfectness or happiness or goodness. Um, they only let you see what they want you to see, or they only let you see what you want to see. Um, and anything else that, you know, that doesn't kind of fit the vibe they're going for or the vibe that you want as the customer, as the consumer, as their guest, um, they tried to hide or at least um, as best they can by covering it up so it looks like something good. They'll either hide it out of the way somewhere, and if they can't do that, if it's just something that has to be in where it is, to do its job and do its job correctly, they'll cover it up and make it look like something else and make it look like something good, something like you want to see. Um, so they make, or they'll even just go out of their way to make you look at something else. They're like masters of illusion and redirection, you know, like, oh, don't want to see that piece of large pipe that's probably carrying who knows what. Oh, look over here. You don't even notice it anymore. Their goal is to trigger all the happy feels uh, that keep you coming back for more. and and. And the extended hours, right? The extended hours are even better because everything looks that much better. Everything looks that much cooler. The illusion is even easier for them to pull off and easier for us to buy into. That's because they can literally spotlight the good, the the good things. And what, uh, you're going to notice me using quotes, air quotes, a lot in this. Um, the good things that they want you to see. The good things that you want to see. Um, and they can rely on darkness to hide all the rest of it. So they literally just spotlight the best things that they want you to see and that you want to see. Because whether or not you realize it, you've bought into that illusion of good and what you know appears to be good too. And that's because we love the illusion. We love the illusion of good that they provide us when we're there. Um, but that illusion, that illusion of good comes at a cost. And there's a price for those extended hours that you know we love so dearly. Um, you know, it takes an army. It takes a literal army to maintain the, that appearance of good, uh, to keep the lights on um, and the gates open um, deep into the night. Uh, Disney employs this literal army of people that are seen and unseen. Matter of fact, there's probably more unseen people that you don't even know about that do all this work. They, they do the cooking, they clean. They direct people where they should be. They direct you where to look. Um, they inspect things constantly. They work. They put in the hours before the gates open, and they put in the hours long after the last gate is closed and the last guest is out. All to maintain the show. All of, of all the impressive things you can see at Disney, probably the most impressive is that massive effort that goes on behind the scenes, behind the curtain of illusion. Um, and it takes a lot of effort to maintain the appearance of good. Because at the end of the day, yeah, it's good, it's great, but it's, it's you know, it's an appearance of good. It's really what it is. Um, 
it takes a lot of work because in this world, any good that we think we have, um, any good that we think we can obtain, is at best fleeting. It's a transient um, good. It's, it's, it's all caught up in time. And we live, truth be told, in a world where we've been told moth and rust destroy. And maintaining those fleeting, those transient goods, um, those temporal goods, if you want to use an even fancier word, maintaining that illusion takes a titanic amount of effort just to maintain things that just merely look good. Um, even the things that are good, that are just fleeting, you got to work all the time to maintain those. So what happens when the good, capital G, opens its gates for extended hours? Uh, so when the final good, the true good for which our souls have longed for, throws open its gates, um, the illusion of good, this illusion that we, we get so caught up in, um, the, and this mere appearance of good will fade. And this the mere aesthetic of goodness, you know, just being satisfied with things that just look good, it won't hold a candle to the presence of good, of the good in our midst. The Revelation, the text that we're looking at today, it tells us that when the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb throw open the gates on that morning, um, our work of maintaining the facade will be abandoned. We'll just walk away from it because we'll be too busy enjoying and celebrating the true good, that final good, the pres that presence of God that's come into the world, and he will light up an eternity of extended hours once those gates are thrown open and they'll never close anyway that's the dbr for today we'll be back tomorrow get out enjoy the weather it's cooled down a little bit here in chattanooga so it's a much nicer day if you're downtown chattanooga or around chattanooga you're a young adult and you uh, need some friends to hang out with we'll be having a uh, lighting up the fire pit in the backyard tonight getting some free food and drinks so just show up anytime after six um, and we can have some extended hours. Anyway, but we'll see you later. Boop.